Day 7 Form Filling 1 Listen to the following conversation carefully and then complete the forms from different extracts. First, you have some time to read the questions. Now here are the three messages. Message 1 I've lost two credit cards. One is a Visa, the other is a MasterCard. What can I do? Don't worry. What's your name, please? My name is Ronald Howard. Howard, H-O-W-A-R-D. Do you know the numbers of the lost cards, sir? Yes. I wrote them down here. The visa is number 6091-1313-9781-0231. And the MasterCard is number 7228-6718-7217-5059. Do you still remember the expiration date of the cards? Yes. The visa expires in November 2014 and the MasterCard in January 2015. Thank you, sir. Could you show me your ID card? Here you are. Thank you. Please come by the office on Wednesday so that we can issue two new cards. Message 2 Could you show me the menu, please? Here you are, sir. Will you dine a la carte or the table d'hôte? I think the table d'hôte will do very well for me. Does it include an appetizer, soup, and so forth? Yes, sir. The table d'hôte includes an appetizer, soup, salad, choice of dessert, tea, or coffee. Is there any particular dish you would recommend? The roast duck is very good tonight, and we also have several special chicken dishes if you like chicken. Okay. I'll take the roast duck and some veal. Do you want to drink something? A bottle of beer. Will you order your desserts now? Apple pie, ice cream, or cakes? Apple pie, please, and a cup of coffee. Okay. Wait a minute. I'll bring you the appetizer right away. Message 3 Good morning, sir. Welcome to the Ambassador Hotel. Thank you. I've got a reservation through my secretary. My name is Reed, R-E-A-D-E. -E. Just a minute, please. Yes, you've got a reservation. A single room for three days. The room number is 1201. Here is the key. Thank you. Could you show me your passport? Your passport number? Its number is JDA2151623. How many pieces of luggage do you have? Just these three two suitcases and one bag. Okay. Please sign the register here, and the porter will take your luggage to your room. Here is the register. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I hope you'll enjoy your stay here. Form Filling 2 you will hear two people discussing an extramural course. Fill in the information you hear on the application form below. First, you have some time to look at the questions. Now, here is the conversation. Hi, Jenny. What are you doing down here? Oh, hello, Steve. Well, I'm trying to fill in this form, but I'm having a bit of a struggle as I sprained my wrist playing tennis yesterday. Don't worry, I'll do it for you. Let's have your pen. Right, fire away. Mm, let's see. I want to do the drama and theatre studies. I'd like to get the certificate. The course number is... Uh, 60201. No, sorry. 2.02. It seems to be on Thursday at 
Yes, well, we don't have to put all that down. Now, I suppose we can call you Miss. Don't be funny. And spell my name right. Hmm. Well, if you'll have a name like Jenny McPherson. Let's see, it's M A C. No. Big M, small C, no A. Right. M C P H E R S O N. Yes, OK. And don't forget it's a capital P, MacPherson. Now, what's your address? Well, I've just moved, so it's 6 Westway Avenue, Longford. Hang on, don't go so fast. 6 Westway Avenue, where? Longford. What's next? Your phone number, daytime and evening. Well, I've only got one, as we can't have calls at school in the daytime, so put down the evening one. 605-4829. 4829, OK. And you're a teacher. How old are you? 29? Mmm, wish I were. No, 32. Do they want my date of birth? No, don't seem to. Just age. How about educational qualifications? Well, I've got a degree in English literature and a diploma in media studies. Media studies, right. Now, have you ever done any of these extramural courses before? No, don't think so. Although I did do something on psychodrama once. But no, it wasn't extramural, was it? That seems to be it, except for the fee. Yes, well, that's the same for all the central courses. I think £25. I suppose I have to include it with this form. Looks like it. Uh, do you want me to write the cheque out for you? But uh, you'll have to sign it. Form Filling 3 Listen to the news report about a robbery and then complete the notes from the detective's notebook. First, you have some time to read the form. Now, listen to the news report and fill in all the blanks. There has been an armed robbery this morning at the Halifax Building Society's branch in Edward Street. John Brings is at the scene with Detective Sergeant Henry Lawson. Detective Sergeant, can you tell us what you know about the robbery? Yes, the raid took place this morning, shortly after 11.30, when a man accompanied by a woman went into the offices of the uh, Building Society and asked to see the manager. Uh, there were no other customers in the building at the time. They were let into the manager's office, and the woman produced a gun from her handbag. Then they took the manager back out of his office and made him tell the cashiers to hand over all the money they had in the tills and in the safe. Uh, it came to about $25,000. Presumably, you have a number of witnesses. Yes, uh, we have a good description of both of them. Uh, the man was about 1 meter 80 centimeters, around 35 years of age, with blue eyes and short curly red or ginger hair. He was wearing jeans, a green sweater, and a three-quarter length blue coat. When he spoke to the cashier when he came in, he called himself Mr. Erickson, but we doubt whether that is his real name. But we do know that may be his real name. He also spoke with a strong Scottish accent, which may help us to trace him. And what about the woman? Now, she is in her early twenties, slim and quite tall, about one meter seventy centimeters. She was wearing a long white raincoat, which was quite loose-fitting, and which she didn't take off. She had a beige handbag, which they used to hide the gun in. She's got straight, shoulder-length blonde hair, blue eyes, and, like the man, has a noticeable accent. Do you have any other information? 
Yes, the car they used was seen by two or three people. It's a blue or dark blue Ford Escort, and we have the registration number. And it's G five nine five E R I. I'll say that again. It's G five nine five E R I. Now the car was stolen from Bishopstone just over a week ago. So if anyone has seen it in the last week, we would like to hear from them. We also know that the car's front left headlight was broken when it was stolen, and is still broken. We think. So you would like information from the public about the car? Yes, and the people. We're appealing to anyone who thinks they may recognise the two robbers or know anything about the car. We've set up an incident room in Swindon, and the telephone number is double seven four five two nine. So we would like people to ring us if they have any information,、uh, and of course all calls will be dealt with in the strictest confidence. Thank you very much. Thank you. And the number again, if you have any information, is double seven four five two nine. And now back to the studio. Form filling four. Listen to the results of a radio questionnaire on sports and physical exercises, and complete the chart below. First, you have some time to look at the form. Now here is the result of the radio questionnaire. And now the results of our survey on spare time activities and sports. We wanted to know how people spend their spare time, so we interviewed women and men around the town during the whole of last week. Here's what we found out. Only forty percent of men interviewed claimed to do some kind of physical exercise, while fifty percent of the women we talked to said that they follow a regular program of exercise. We also talked about watching sport on TV, and both groups claimed to spend some time on this. Forty-one percent of men interviewed do this, and thirty percent of women. We also wanted to find out exactly what form of exercise these people do. So we asked about different sports and activities. Jogging was by far the most popular, with 20% of men and 18% of women. Most of them do this during the week, either in the morning before going to work or in the evening after work. Football was also popular with the men. 13% claimed to play, mainly at the weekend on Saturdays. Not surprisingly, none of the women claimed to play. Cricket was another popular sport among the men, with 19% claiming to play. Again, no women mentioned this sport. A lot of people also said they took some form of exercise other than these team sports. 80% of men and 90% of women said they regularly walked as a form of exercise, either as part of their daily routine to get to work. Or at the weekends in their spare time, athletics was also mentioned, but not by many. Only ten percent of men said they did this. None of the women we spoke to mentioned it at all. Dancing was also mentioned as a form of exercise. Three percent of men and women mentioned this, and also yoga. Five percent of women said they did this regularly, and two percent of men. Finally, a small number of people included gardening as a form of exercise. Eleven percent of men said they did this, and thirteen percent of women.